Hello, it's Tim Estradal, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. Today I'm a 2018 Toyota 4Runner TRD Off-Road. I'm here in what's considered a kind of a drain area, lots of uh, vegetation out here. I'll show you some of the off-road goodies like crawl control. Crawl out of this, it's a good time. So stay with us as we do more with this 2018 Toyota 4Runner TRD Off-Road. Before we get into this review, let's discuss what 4Runner model I'm actually driving. Toyota's got four different versions of this 4Runner this year, and there's been so much noise in the TRD Pro, you may be confused about what you're seeing on the screen. So the visual you're seeing, the B-roll, is an SR5, that's your base trim package. There's a TRD Off-Road, a TRD Pro, and a Limited. So it gets a little confusing with the TRD Off-Road and TRD Pro. So let's talk about some of these differences. SR5 is your base package. It's going to be some skid plates. It's going to have the LED taillights, the smoke sport trim, 17-inch wheels, colored keyed front and rear bumpers, and going to have cloth seats. When you get into the premium packages, you add leather, typically, and you add some more silver, silver, silver accents, excuse me. And in the TRD Off-Road Premium Package, which is what I was driving, there's a Power Tilt Slide Moonroof with Sunshade that's not available in the TRD Off-Road and TRD Pro Pack grades. So basically you get the moonroof. And you get the um, leather sport text type leather seats. In the TRD Pro version, that's where you step up and you're going to get the Fox 2.5 inch internal bypass shocks throughout. You're going to get the off-road um, TRD off-road or TRD Pro excuse me roof rack and the JBL premium audio system for the TRD off-road premium you get 17 inch seven spoke alloy wheels you get the TRD off-road external hard badges and in the premium package on the interior you're gonna have the stitching it's gonna be the soft text uh, trimmed heated front seats eight-way adjustable and has a TRD red lettering on the driver and pass front passenger headrest so if that's not confusing enough let's talk about the off-road capability so the off-road capability both of the TRD or all excuse me all three of the TRD off-road TRD off-road premium and TRD pro have ventilated disc brakes they have multi-train ABS they have locking rear differential multi-train select and crawl control they also have the approach angle with the four two bolt drive will be 30 degrees four wheel drive will be 33 degrees departure angle for both is 26 degrees and ground clearance for the four wheel drive is 9.6 inches and the ground clearance for two wheel drive is 9.0 inches so again this is the 2018 Toyota off-road and this is going to be the premium package you're seeing on screen and throughout this review so i hope that cleared things up Press our button, turn it on. So put it in drive. Press our button. You can hear the gearing catch on. This is traction control, or crawl control, excuse me. It is uh, cruise control for off roaders. I'm going to go over this hill and go down to this drain, and I'm going to flip around and go back the other way. So, a scenario could be you know, you got some down here you want to retrieve. Uh, you know, I don't know if you put a deer in the back of this SUV, but you could, right? And so it crawls over, you're hearing the grinding. It sounds a little terrible, but that's the brakes and the uh, system sending torque to the wheels and controlling how much torque comes to the wheels and using the brakes to slow us down. I'm literally, no hands, I got no, no hands on, I got no feet on the steering wheel, I'm just going. So then I'm gonna hit the gas and gets out of it and then I'm gonna flip around and get up and start climbing the other hill. So I'm just gonna get kind of set up, kind of pick my spot, let the system take control. And I have speeds here, so I can turn it up medium, I can flip it on high if I want to go a little faster, and the system's going to send torque to control the speed, so I'll turn it down to low, and we're just going to climb up top. So I, I'm going to steer, I got no foot on my brake, no foot on my gas, it's cruise control off-roading. Uh, what's nice about it is, like compared to like an e-locker, e-lockers are great, they can lock the hubs and everything, you still got to manually control that. This is nice because any novice, including myself, can use this to climb out. Now I'm going to slip a little bit here, getting over the top. I usually slip. Oh, I didn't slip. That was really great. Uh, sometimes I slip, the system does. 
does it take care of. It doesn't really care. So, yep, there we go. Slipped a little bit. It took care of it. Set the torque to the wheels I needed to. And it just climbs right out. It sounds horrible. It doesn't sound like that's something you want to listen to, but it works pretty damn well. This is the big burly 4.0 liter V6. It's uh, an older engine. They, uh, I don't know if they really use it much else besides this. Uh, most stuff smaller displacement or it's a bigger V8. It's a thirsty old girl, but uh, it's got plenty of power. Let's talk about this interior. I have the red stitching on the seats here. Uh, the TRD up off here. So I have the off-road version different than the Pro. Um, I have the interior as far as doors. I do have the door locks here, the um, door locks here, the windows here. I have the uh, chrome handle for the door. I'm going to hop in. It's getting kind of cold out there. Um, I do have controls here. This is for a plug in the back, so you control what kind of power is going to the plug. I do have mirrors. I have the dimmer switch on the steering wheel itself. I'm going to see if I can't just drive just for just a second and get in the shade. So you know, watch a little driving. Here we go. Oh yeah, now you guys can see. See, it's so much better. Um, I have controls for the stereo here, volume, Bluetooth here. I do have the stock here for the windshield wipers. And then down below I have the uh, this cruise control stock. I'm averaging about 15.8 mile per gallon. It's a pretty cold day. I have four low, I just was doing a little bit off-roading and playing around with it. Um, over here I have this big center stack with the big knobs. These are like reminiscent to me like a Jeep Wrangler kind of knobs. Um, I like them, they're nice and big. I do have a push button kind of system I can kind of, you know, get through different apps and flip around the different things. Um, big big vents, the clock. Uh, let's see what else is going on over here. I do have the circulation modes, the heating control as far as temperature, fan speed, and where it's coming from. Rear defroster, USBs, cigarette lighter, plug-in. A few cubbies for some stuff. I do have the manual four-wheel drive um, gear here. Uh, use a lot of these days is push button because they want to save room. They want to add an additional cup holder. So that's a little bit of, of a unique thing, a little throwback thing. Um, I do have the gated. I love the gated uh, col or console shifter, and so I call it gated because it goes reverse. Then you got to kind of go down and you go into drive. Then you can kind of go over to gear. So instead of like some manufacturers go straight down, and you can always end up like in first gear and you have no idea. Um, trust me, it happens to me all the time. Uh, heated seats, which are on. This is for the rear window. Yes, this room window right there. See, it opens and it closes. There's my fancy dance cam camera. Up here, I do have my crawl control buttons. I have my A-Track buttons. Um, looks at what the uh, where I'm driving at, and this is the speeds. I have A-Track control, rear locker, traction control, the garage door openers. Uh, this is for lights and the doors open, and sliding moonroof. And then I have lights right there. So this is the tilt and slide and recline moonroof. Additional um, fee for that. Uh, over here I have a different type of brushed metal here. And I have the harder plastic here. And a pretty good size little block. So I have the uh, gloss ebony here for the interior. Um, I do have a center stack console. Um, it doesn't hold. I mean, it's a pretty good size. It holds quite a bit of stuff. What's nice about it is it's not so deep that you're going to lose stuff. And I do have a nice little handy holder there. I can put tissues in. Kind of nice. So they don't get lost in the caverns of some of these uh, new vehicles. So overall, I've always thought the interior is just kind of a combination of like old school forerunner like love. You know, it's got the big knobs, big buttons, and it's not, you know, not the sexiest looking interior, but that's not what you want from this. You want something that's going to work. You want the big knobs. You want tactile things. I like them, you know, I, I like the fact that I can just get them with a pair of gloves, grab them in the middle of winter, turn them on, don't have to worry about, you know, little small tiny knobs, which drive me nuts. So um, overall, I, I I would like them to redo the interior. This is an old power, old body style and old interior. Been in the market since uh, 2013, maybe even, I think it was 2012, maybe. I, I'll double check that, you leave me hate in the comments below on that. But I believe that's the model year of when they updated it last, and uh, it shows. I think it's time for a new interior. but. It's hard to beat this 4Runner. It's hard. Toyota sells a ton of them. You're looking for an off-road vehicle. This is really one of the top ones to get.
So um, let me do some more highway driving and I'll tell you about the ride quality and we'll wrap this as review. And one of the cool features of this model I have is I have the optional rear cargo slide deck. So let me go show you this. It's $330, but if you're doing a lot of, uh, I don't know, hauling with stuff and camping and say hauling deer or something, it's a pretty cool system. So I'm gonna open the rear hatch and I'll flip the camera around. So here you go, this is the rear deck. It unlocks here and that pulls out. And you can keep, I think you can go all the way. Nope, just the two. So. You can load up something on here. You can see how much distance I have from the bumper back. Uh, you can load up some stuff on there. Uh, groceries, camping, cargo gear, uh, luggage, whatever. And put the handle in. And slide it up. And I don't really lose that much cargo space. You can see distance here. Oh, I do have some tie-down hooks as well. Um, I still have most of my cargo space back here. I'm not sacrificing a whole lot, but it's kind of a cool little option that uh, Toto offers. Before we go for a drive in this 2018 Toyota 4Runner Off-Road Premium, uh, I want to tell you it's in the Barcelona Red, which is kind of a pretty exterior. It's got the 4-liter uh, V6 in it. It's 270 horsepower and 278 foot-pounds of torque. This combined in the package is 42690 I do have the sliding rear cargo deck as $330. The KDS, the Kinetic Dynamic Suspension System, adds $1,750. The Power tower Tilt Slide Moonroof, pretty cool. Uh, adds 850 I get a $750 keep it wild savings discount so let me put it in reverse and we'll go for a little drive so I got the 17 inch uh, what did I say Goodyear duelers on there I think that's what I said um, on this there are the off-road tires it's a pretty good uh, pretty good tire you know this is definitely set up for an off-road vehicle what's interesting about this is it it has an all right ride quality. If you're looking for like an SUV, you know, smooth ride quality, this probably isn't the choice. But you're, it's the pro and con there of where you're getting as far as capability. Um, I think it's uh, really a lot of fun to drive. It, it, it very much works in different areas of the country, right? So, you know, maybe downtown New York City is not quite the vehicle for you. But if you're out, road, out in the rural area like I am and you get snowstorms like I do, and you get opportunities to go get in the mud or play off-road like I do. Uh, this is one of those vehicles that's probably going to be on the top of your list. But it's probably one of those vehicles you're not going to think about. You know, a lot of guys out here, um, and definitely off-road guys, are thinking like lifted pickups. Uh, they're thinking Jeep Wranglers. But kind of the, the two vehicles that come to mind. And uh, in this case, you really don't need to. You can do a full-size SUV, or not full-size, but you can do a mid-size SUV, basically. You can sit five. You can, you know, go get groceries. You can have everything covered in the back. You can go on a long off-roading, go camping, uh, go over landing if you want to. You can have, you know, there's cargo room straps on top. Um, I have a friend who does in northern Michigan. He puts camping gear on here and goes out for the weekend. And has a great time because he doesn't have to worry about getting stuck. Because if he gets stuck, he did something wrong. <laughs> because there's a lot of capability in this. And, uh, yeah, sure, you can still get in a situation that gets you in trouble. But with crawl control, with the A-Track system, um, you know, it, you're going to have a hard time getting into places that get really stuck. Um, I've had pretty good luck with crawl control. I've only gotten stuck, I think, sort of got stuck once. I, and then this has got the 4-liter V6, and I've been in vehicles with a 5.7-liter V8, the bigger uh, Toyota engine. And when you get stuck, you can just kind of part your way out of it, too. It's, it's not like a situation that's that big of a deal. Um, with all the off-road capability, with the additional lift on it, you don't have to really worry about all that kind of stuff. Um, I, as far as humming of the wheels, I don't really have a lot of hum. They don't make a lot of noise. Um, I do have, it's a little more stiffer. Um, you can feel the suspension hit a little bit, mo little bit more than you would, say, a different SUV. Um, but it's not a bad thing. It's just a small little detail that you, know, you, you could argue about. But I tell you, this versus like a Jeep Wrangler on the, on the highway, oh yeah, oh yeah this all day long <laughs> there's no debate there so i you know it's one of those vehicles i just like to have a good time with i uh, like to play around with and uh just you know enjoy it, it it's a great uh around town vehicle plus it's a lot of fun when you get off road so there you go uh for more pickup truck plus SUV news make sure you check us out on pickuptrucktalk.com make sure you follow us on pickup truck talk on instagram facebook and twitter uh i try to put up some funny stuff and serious stuff uh both Thanks for watching. We'll see you 
down the road.